Are you a parent? Are you a teenager? You know, when I was a teenager, my parents worried about me, being super shy, introverted, missing opportunities, not really participating in life. But don't all parents worry about their teenagers? They wonder, will my teen be able to stand up for what's right, to make good decisions, to gain experience, and to be prepared for the future ahead? Parents around the world worry, just like my parents worried, that if my teenager is hanging around the wrong crowd, they're going to make the wrong decisions, face peer pressure, and ruin their life. That could be why curfew was invented. Because as teenagers, we listen to our friends and our peers more than anyone else, even our parents. And parents see that as the problem. I'm here to tell you today that teenagers Listening to other teenagers is actually the solution and not the problem. When we give them the right environment, teenagers are able to discover who they are, learn their strengths, and how they want to show up in the world. They're able to create solutions to everyday problems you face today and bring community, a sense of belonging, and compassion for youth everywhere as the future leaders of tomorrow. My name is Matthew Klopwick. I'm an entrepreneur, youth facilitator, and a founding partner in an or organization called Youth Empowering Youth. We teach youth leadership skills and give them a platform for self-discovery. We believe that when teenagers understand themselves and lead themselves, they can and will lead others too. You see, a year ago, I was invited to be a guest speaker at a high school in Vancouver, Canada. I was sharing with grade 10 to 12 a concept about how your attitude shapes your life. And I end up having an extraordinary experience that changed my life. And when I share it with you, I believe it will change the way how you will see and empower youth. On that day, I was standing in front of the class, getting ready to open up. And I shared that before I ask you to share your life experiences with me, I'm going to share with you about how my attitude changed my life at 17 years old. I was at the Vancouver Convention Center. I'm sitting in the very far back row with my parents. You see, my parents brought me to my first personal growth seminar. I've been here for four hours. I don't want to be here. I want to be home playing video games. That's what I want to do with my free time. This is a waste of my time. Just then. A short, stocky man in his 40s, black pants, white shirt, over the microphone, comes to the front and says, life is a game. If you don't know the rules, you've already lost. But if you do know the rules, you have a chance to win. I thought to myself, man, I really know what losing feels like. I suck at life. I'm shy. I'm introverted. Sometimes I stutter. I have no self-confidence. What can this guy teach me? The man continued. This game or life has rules, three rules. One, life is a quest, a never ending journey of self discovery. Two, you need leadership skills. And three, you need a place to grow and practice those leadership skills. After he invited the teenagers and broke us up in groups of five with a facilitator to lead an exercise. Sitting in chairs, arranged in a circle, one by one, the teenagers were asked questions around their challenges, their insecurities, and their life goals. And I realized, listening to the other teenagers, that I have dreams. I could set goals. I definitely have insecurities. When they asked me to share, people my same age listened. And they encouraged me and I felt accepted. That day, my attitude changed, and my life quest, my journey of self-discovery, became possible. I started going to more personal growth seminars to be around this empowering environment. They gave me CDs to listen to on a daily basis to learn more about leadership. I told myself that I'm gonna find out what it takes to be a leader, then, I'll be able to help other teenagers that are struggling like I'm struggling right now. 
I looked for places to grow and practice those leadership skills. I enrolled in training to becoming an entrepreneur, helping people manage their money, leading teams. I earned a six-figure income. I was recognized in Forbes magazine. I did physical hard things like enrolling my first Olympic triathlon. I really didn't even know how to swim eight weeks before. I wanted to develop my mental toughness. When I set the goal, this attracted the friends, the mentors, and the resources to make it happen. That led to philanthropy projects and raising money for Children's Wish, United Way, Low Entropy, and the Food Bank. I wanted to be of service and support my community. I realized to continue growing, I had to find more places to grow and practice those leadership skills. That it is a never ending journey of self-discovery, finding out who I am and how do I wanna show up in the world. After becoming an entrepreneur and a philanthropist, I learned life skills and leadership skills, mental toughness, self-confidence, belief in myself and my abilities that I wish I knew when I was 17 years old. And that's why, class, I'm here today. My journey led to you to empower you to do the same. After I shared my story about how my attitude changed my life, I put the attention back on the teenagers, breaking them up in groups to share with their peers. And when they did, their eyes lit up. And this miraculous moment that I didn't see coming began to unfold. When the teenagers were sharing with their peers, some of them got choked up with tears in their eyes. Others were listening intensely and were like, wow, I had no idea you were dealing with that. I thought your life was perfect. We don't realize a lot of youth suffer in silence. You would not think the proudest teen could be the most insecure. And the quiet and the shy teen actually want to share, be heard, and make friends. Being in that class, listening and watching one after the other, open up and share. I had this aha moment, this one hand clap realization that changed everything of how I saw as a solution to empower these youth. <laughs> you see, I failed. I failed to understand the significance of being at my first personal growth seminar many years ago. I thought being a leader was about having skills, accolades, and achievements. It was more than that. It started with an attitude change. When I was listening to other teenagers just like me open up and share the stories around their challenges, their insecurities, and their life goals, I felt, wow, they're just like me. When it comes to leadership, most youth are used to being talked at and not having their voices heard. They're not able to practice being a leader because they either don't have the opportunity or they think it is a position, a title, or an age they need to wait for. But it all makes sense now. Teenagers will listen to other teenagers. They know what it's like to go through each other's challenges and they're the best leaders to help each other. See. When youth come to our program, they say, I want to be more confident. I want to impact my community. I want to be heard. I want to be a leader. That's what they say they want. But in the end, they tell us, wow, I now understand myself. Or I finally understand how other people see things are different than how I see things. Or just because I fail at times, I'm not a failure. After realizing it's about creating the right environment to have youth to empower other youth, getting their voices heard with each other, we decided as an organization to become a youth-led organization. Here's what we did. First, we took adult volunteers, just like myself, facilitating specific activities and group sharing with other teenagers, helping them discover who they are, learn their strengths, and how they want to show up in the world. Then the graduates come back and they can be trained as a youth facilitator and we build their confidence until they're ready to lead their own group of teenagers and we pay them to be a leader. This creates a movement of youth going on their never-ending journey of self-discovery, 
impacting all of their peers around them for the better. How cool is that? Whether you're a teenager, a parent, or anyone else, you are in the position to help youth get their voice heard. Realize, life is a quest. Youth need leadership skills. And like Youth Empowering Youth, your organization or in your home can support them and help them grow and practice those leadership skills. Start now. Help youth empower other youth. And together, we can create a ripple effect that can change the world and have youth bring community, a sense of belonging, and compassion for youth everywhere as the future leaders of tomorrow. Supporting each other, standing up for what's right, gaining experience, and living into a powerful future.